Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn notifications on and while you're down there give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. Now today we're going to be talking about BPD and a favourite person. Now I will, I have full disclosure here, I was diagnosed with borderline personality disorder when I was 17 up until this year but since my last psychiatrist appointment I've been undiagnosed with BPD slash recovered from BPD so I do know what I'm talking about here but yeah having a favorite person let's get into this people with borderline personality disorder may heavily depend upon emotional support comfort and validation a favorite person is often a family member, friend, romantic partner, but it can in fact be anybody. For me, my favourite person was my ex-partner, Becca. Um, unfortunately she left and didn't really give too much reasons why, which was devastating for me. And honestly I still feel a bit hurt by it, but what can I do? There's nothing I can do. So People with BPD may not be able to function without their favourite person. I may fear that they are being abandoned. People with BPD may idealise their favourite person and expect them to be available all the time. And I think it's important to talk about the fear of abandonment. And the reason I'm bringing this, this up in this video is because if your favourite person isn't available for whatever reason, they do have a life of their own after all. You may feel like you're, they're abandoning you and that's, that's not true even though that's what you believe. Fear of abandonment in BPD is crippling because you feel like everyone close to you is going to leave you. So when someone's not available you think oh, that's a, that's a, that's a, it's a warning sign that they're going to abandon you. And that isn't true. It puts extra strain on the relationship with your favourite person because they think they have to be available all the time for you. And to them it can feel like a huge responsibility one they're not ready for don't get me wrong i'm not saying having a favorite person is a bad thing i'm just saying be mindful of the fact that they do have their own life to live and their own responsibilities they have to take care of and just because they're having a them day or going to work or university or college or whatever they're doing you remind yourself that they have their own life they can't be with you 24 7 and i think that's where i'm going to leave this video thank you for watching and if you are new subscribe if you didn't know i have a patreon i post one video every other week it's never going to be shown on youtube and yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video peace